Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku and today we are solving Figure It Out by Philip Newman. This is a figure Sudoku, also called Shaken Clone Sudoku. And we have normal Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And in addition to that, we have some cages in the grid. And the rule about the cages is that every cage has to contain the same exact set of digits, but they don't necessarily have to appear in the same order. So we're going to have to figure out which digits go in these cages, and then those digits will appear in all of the cages, but they might be scrambled around. So we do know that every cage has to have a 6 and every cage has to have a 9. So there's going to be a 9 in one of these cells, but it's not going to be there because there's already a 9 in that region. That means the 9 in this cage is going to go here somewhere. And there's going to be a 9 in one of these cells. And because this cage also has to have a 6, this is going to be a 9-6 pair. There has to be a 6 in the, this cage, so we're going to put it in one of those cells, which makes this my 9 and makes this my 6. There's now a 9 in one of those cells. And we're going to leave it at that for right now because we can now determine the third digit in our cages because we have a 2 here. So this is the only position for 2 in region 3. So that's going to make these guys 4, 7, and 8. This is going to be a 2, 6 pair. And because there's a 2 here, that's my 6 and that is my 2. These are going to be 2, 6, and 9. But because there's a 6 right here, ruling 6 out of those cells, that's where I'm going to put the 6. And that's going to be a 2, 9 pair. And then these are going to be 2 and 6. That's going to be a 2, which makes this a 9, and makes this a 2. So let's finish off the puzzle with some classic Sudoku now that we have determined the contents of all of our cages. So this is a hidden 3 in the region because there's a 3 up there. And we can finish that region off using Sudoku. Here we're going to need a 1, a 3, and an 8. So this is a naked 8 because there are a 1 and 3 in the column already. And here we need 1, 4, 7, and 8 to finish off the column. Here we need 3, 4, and 8 to finish the row. That cannot be an 8. We need 1, 3, 4, and 8 to finish this column. That can't be a 3 because there's a 3 there. And that can't be a 4 or 8 because those are both in those cells somewhere. I now have these four cells containing 1, 3, 4, and 8. I do know, therefore, that these have to be 2 and 6. That's not a 3 or 8 because it sees a 3 and an 8. 2 has to go there in this region. That's the only position it can go in in the region. To finish this row, we need to place a 4 and a 7. That puts 7 in one of these cells. The 2 resolves my 2, 6. And so now I can place a hidden 6 in this region right here. Those are going to be 1, 3, 4, and 7 to finish the region. We can't have a 4 or 7 there again because of that 4, 7, 8 triple. So we'll finish up like that. This now can no longer be a 3 because we have a 1, 3 pair there. So these are going to have to be from 4, 5, or 8. And this is also going to be a 1 and 3 to finish off this column. We can eliminate a 1 from there, therefore. 3 now must go in this cell in region 5. That's the only position left for 3. So this can no longer be a 9 because we do have a 9 in column 4. So that's going to be a 9. It'll be a 5 to finish off the row. That makes this a 1. Then these are going to be 1 and 8 to finish the region. These are going to be 6 and 7 to finish off the column. We don't know what order yet. I need a 4, 5, and 8 still. So I have a 4, 5, 8 triple here giving me a 7 and a 6. And that means my last cell in the row has to be a 9. I now know that this is going to be a 9. And to finish off the row, I need to place a 7. So that gives me a 7 right here. So my last two digits there are going to be 4 and 6. So I can eliminate 4 from those cells. This is going to be a 1 to finish the row. And I'm getting some more digits just via classic Sudoku. I can eliminate 8 there. That's not going to be a 1. I have a 4 in this column now. And now we are done.
And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Figure It Out. Feel free to guess tomorrow's variant in the comments if you think you've picked up on what's going on with our August guessing game. And I will see you again in a few days.